Are you planning a trip to Vegas, which includes taking your loved feathered friend with you? Well, you are going to be in for quite a shock. I say that because when I think of a trip to Vegas, I think of the Strip or Fremont Street and the luxurious world-class resorts with their amazing architecture, high-end shopping malls, exquisite dining opportunities, and breathtaking lobbies. Unfortunately, if you're traveling with a bird, that will not be the side of Vegas you will get to experience. Instead, it will be something like this. Here is our first stop. This is the Red Roof Inn. Not much to see here, but it is located next door to a strip club, if that's your thing. And there's also a billboard for another strip club right above the motel, in case you don't like the one next door. Here's the grand entrance. Maybe I'm being a little too critical. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. Maybe my first impression is a little bit off. Let's go take a look inside the room. You know you're in a high-class joint when there's evidence of people prying the door open in the past to break in. Hmm. Well, let's go take a look inside. You can't smell through this video, but the place smells rotten. It smells like mold, cigarettes, and some other stuff that I can't even describe. But, you know, if you did want to cook yourself a meal, they have a stove and a microwave and a fridge. Or maybe you want to cook up some meth, I don't know. I haven't seen a motel interior this bland since the early 90s. And that's probably when this place was built. All of the countertops and everything in general, it's just worn and a little bit grungy. I mean, they do clean it, but it's not much to look at. And here is your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. I hate these things in the windows. You have a high setting and a low setting, and the fan keeps you up all night. Oh, and if you're worried about security, don't. Here we have this high-tech clamp on the window to prevent people from climbing in from this ghetto back parking lot. Look at that view. What a beautiful view. Oh, but don't worry, it gets better. Yeah, at random times during the day and night, police will show up because there's a, uh, well, there's questionable things going on in this hotel such as shirtless man here who is buying something out of a white van. And I'm not clear what's going on here. I think they were trying to steal this car maybe. The alarm kept going off. They did a bunch of stuff under the dashboard. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to lock my door anyway. And well, that's when I discover the door doesn't actually lock. Um, you can't actually you can't deadbolt this door. So this place is not too concerned about security and your bodily safety. And then there was this guy who at eight in the morning decided that he wanted to treat everybody to his custom subwoofer. But I'm putting up with this because I love my little birdie. Us bird owners go to the ends of the earth for our feather babies. Our next hotel, La Quinta Inns and Suites, near the airport. And when I say near the airport, I mean it's right next door to the airport. That, across the street, is the airport. And you can watch planes taking off and landing all day and night long. If you're into that sort of thing, then this is a great place especially since you can sit by the pool with your bird and enjoy aviation at its finest. And to my surprise, Birdie actually loves watching these airplanes land. They did a good job of soundproofing. You don't necessarily hear the airplanes inside your room, so I can't hold the location against them. 
Although, you would never know that you're even in Vegas, because there's just nothing going on inside this place. There are COVID signs up everywhere, and you're not allowed to congregate. The breakfast is canceled. But at least it's modern and it's clean. Compared to the Red Roof Inn, this is like staying at the Four Seasons. All right, let's get in this beautiful, elegant elevator and head up to the second floor to go see our room. Hmm, well, you know, it's clean and it's not all beat up, but this is not really the Vegas trip I imagined. To their credit, they do have a breakfast service. Breakfast is included in your $160 a night stay, although, because COVID, it's now given to you homeless man style in a stapled brown paper sack. Let's see what type of breakfast they serve at a $160 a night hotel. Mmm, yeah, this is really memorable and savory. Yeah. Anyway, I'm happy because Birdie is happy. Birdie? And they allowed her in the building, which even the Four Seasons would not do. Next up in this glamorous Las Vegas bird-friendly getaway is the Longhorn Casino and Hotel. For only $200 a night, that's actually what I paid to stay at this dump. Disregard the sign that says rooms from $24.95 because they didn't exist. Yeah, this is the last bird-friendly property that I could find in Las Vegas, conveniently located across the street from the cannery, which is completely shut down and vacant because COVID. Very sad, but let's go take a look inside, shall we? If you're a fan of The Shining, you will love the hallways in this hotel. Keep in mind, the pet-friendly rooms are all the way at the end of this long corridor. So you will have to walk all the way back and forth every time you want to go anywhere in the casino or the restaurant. It's a little bit of a hike. They do have an external door that you can use. This maximum security prison door here, but it was a little bit creepy to me. I didn't use it that often. I just took the long, shining walk down the hallway. The interior of the room has seen better days. You know, there's lots of wear and tear on all of the furniture. Some very interesting looking stains on the lampshades. And the bed coverings well as you can see here it's been torn in the past and they just stitched a cover on it um yeah and you know padding is falling out of the seams but you know what do you expect for 200 dollars a night the four seasons i mean come on yeah this this nightstand has seen better days at least they do a good job keeping everything clean again you're stuck with the in wall heat and air conditioner. Let's check out the view. Ooh, look at that million dollar view. This is Las Vegas. I feel like I am on vacation right now. I feel so fabulous. I get to see things that I normally don't see, like, like this couple constantly working on their car during the daytime. It opened the doors of my mind. And speaking of doors, let's take a look at the situation going on here. There's a whole history left by various dogs that have stayed here, trying to get out of the room, scratching at the bottom of this door. But what's worse is, at night, you can both see and hear everything that goes on in the hallway. If you do end up staying here, bring something with you to block this giant gap at the bottom, or you'll never get to sleep. 
This made sign, I think, has been here since the 70s. It's definitely time to replace it. Uh, let's check out the security situation. And just like the Red Roof Inn, security is not their main priority. This chain does not fit into the little lock. To their credit, they do have a laundry room on site at the end of the shining hallway. And they have 24 hour vending machines with a variety of things that you might need. And if that's not good enough, they are about a four minute walk from a full size Walmart. Now the hidden gem at this place is the Chuck Wagon restaurant. I would actually recommend coming here even if you don't stay at the hotel. This restaurant has some of the best food that I've ever tasted in Vegas and some of the best prices on liquor that you'll ever find inside of a restaurant anywhere in the world, maybe on par with Thailand. But the food here is magnificent. Everything that I ordered tasted like homemade from scratch, old, old fashioned style cooking. And if you're up between midnight and 6 a.m., the graveyard specials are unbeatable. I ended up ordering the soup and sandwich and it was amazing. I loved every bite of it. So if they offer it, and here's a picture of it, don't be afraid to order it. You won't regret it. They also have this old fashioned pie display. Kind of reminded me of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And unlike the other properties we've seen in this video so far, they actually have a casino, so you do get a little bit of the Vegas experience here. Their casino has the best payouts I've seen ever in Vegas. I was constantly getting good hands on video poker. I was able to play an entire evening on $20. Try doing that on this trip. And most importantly, they allowed Birdie in the room and Birdie was very happy. And that is the point of this trip. That is all that matters for this trip. So I think I can say mission accomplished. If you absolutely have to travel with a bird to Las Vegas, I would recommend above all the Longhorn. It's a little pricier than your other options, but you do get a taste of the Vegas experience and that restaurant is outstanding. Anyway, that about wraps things up for this video. Birdie and I are heading back home. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you have experience with bird-friendly hotels in Las Vegas that I did not cover or did not know about, please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more exciting Las Vegas action coming your way soon.